case status indicates the progress of the case towards resolution. Every stage should have a different case status. In other words, you need to identify the stages whenever the case status is going to change. So generally, if you see the case status, it has both a prefix and a suffix like this. This is the prefix hyphen followed by a suffix. So as we can see, we need to have prefix as like pending or resolved. Whereas suffix, coming to suffix, you can have fulfillment or approval or resolved withdrawn or resolved cancelled. So if you see our sample shipment case, so here initially when they are trying to place a new order, status will be new. Later when they are going to process the order, the, the second stage status is pending processing. Later it is pending fulfillment. In the shipping stage, the, once this shipping stage, four stage is completed, the status should be resolved completed. Say what if you want to have a different status at each of the steps inside a stage. Say in fourth stage, in step one I want different status, in step two I want different status. That is to get more granularity, yes that option is also available. You can provide status at step level also. So when the case enters the fourth st stage, and goes to the first step. At that time, PRPC automatically sets the status to pending shipping. When, it, when the case reaches to second step in the fourth stage, the status will be pending arrival. Say for example, in this review stage, you can set some status like pending review. So in the resolution stage, on step 1, if you want a different status, on step 2, if you want a different status, that is also possible. You can go state the individual status at step level here. Say you can pending external. So in such a way, it provides more granularity for you. So if you see, step 1, yes, I am able to change the status. But in step 2 here I am not able to change because in step 2 is not in assignment shape. It is in, so when you have added a step earlier it, it did not use collect information. Collect information only stands for assignment shape in the back end. It is an approval region that is a decision shape. You cannot set status on a decision shape. Likewise when you say it is a send prepare information. This is nothing but a send email smart shape. It doesn't, send email smart shape doesn't change the status. So you can change status only on assignment shapes. So if there are multiple steps with multiple assignments, that is then in such a case you can set another status. Okay, this green color with this exam pad indicates that it's an assignment. It is used for collection of assignment information. So whatever data you, is there, user can enter in the UI and you can collect that information. So if you see whenever you have such yellow color things, it means like sir, you are using some other smart shapes like send email smart shape. So this tick mark is like it is approve or reject. Decision shape is involved based on some conditions. We, we did not define those conditions yet. We will define them in the future videos. Thank you.